Hi, welcome you all to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, this video is part of the series of videos on the statutory branch audit. In this video, I would like to discuss about the loan balance file, which you will get from the bank's 24 CBS. As you all know, CBS means core banking solution. We have three CBS, Finacle, Banks 24, FlexiCube. Finacle used by most of the PSUs, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India, Indian Overseas Bank, Punjab and Sindh Bank, Punjab National Bank, UCO Bank, and Union Bank of India. Banks 24 used by four banks, Bank of Maharashtra, Central Bank of India, Indian Bank, State Bank of India. When it comes to the FlexiCube, only the Kendra Bank uses the same. When it comes to the CBS, the commands are similar with every bank. When I talk about in this video, loan balance file, though I am taking the reference of the State Bank of India file, however, the file format is same in Indian Bank, Central Bank of India, and Bank of Maharashtra. You can follow the same procedure even for the other Finacle and FlexiCube related any files having the same type of structure. Loan balance file, when, when we go to the State Bank of India, we ideally should request for loan balance file and a CCOD file. Loan balance file is having all the advances where the base is the installment. When it comes to the CCOD file, you will find all the advances where the base is the interest. You, you will take these two files, you will convert into text format to the Microsoft Excel and uh, the total of these two together must match with your balance sheet advances total, right? And when it comes to the State Bank of India, our majority of the banks, they are not sharing the data. When they are not sharing the data with you, don't worry. When you know the techniques, when you know the methodology, how to use the analytics in Excel, even you can take the data in their system itself. If their system is having Microsoft Excel, you can follow all these steps for your, for your information. Even 2007 version of Microsoft Excel, you can start using all the things which I'm covering in this video. Let me close this. Generally, the file of a loan balance is looking like this. Don't worry, this is the fabricated data. This is not a real data. As we have a uh, NDA with the bank, ideally we should not share the data. So this is what the ideal format. You can find loan balance file from the State Bank of India or any of the bank uh, UGS uh, Banks 24 uh, CBS. It is very simple. I have to first copy this entire data. The shortcut to copy is Control plus A. Sorry, the shortcut to select everything is Control plus A. Now I have to copy it. Shortcut is Control plus C. Now I should open Microsoft Excel because I have to convert this unstructured data into the structured format. Let me open Microsoft Excel. Let me open a blank workbook, Control V. Once I do Control V, everything comes into one single column. Unfortunately, I cannot apply data analysis methodology on this data because this is not the structured data. Now I have to apply the data preparation job. First, let me convert this data, which is in one single column into different columns for which I go to the data tab. I go to next to column. This is a fixed width file. So I'll select the fixed width, go to next, come down, see the first line of title with the first line of the code. That, that means first account number, the title along with the account number you are finding so that you will exactly know where you want to cut the column. Now let me cut the column here. Let me split the column here. Let me split my column here. Let me go towards the right side a little bit. Let me split the column here. Don't split the column here because you are not sure at the bottom, maybe another customer having some bigger length. If that is the case, look into the next column. It's a number limit. Generally numbers align it towards the right side text aligner towards the left side. Considering the same, you can just put one space always 
excess than your number, though it is right aligned, because in some of the banks, the minus symbol will come at the end of the number. If that is the case, when you're trying to cut the column here, the minus will go and sit into the next column. That's the reason always have an habit of keeping one extra space. Now, I'm 100% I'm sure this number will never go beyond this because it's already nine lakh. Even if another four digits increase, this will not, never go beyond this. So my customer name can be this much lengthier, not a problem. It can automatically fit. Now let's go towards the right side. Interest rate, you'll find another column called theoretical balance, outstanding balance. Don't worry, we'll make another video how to understand this theoretical balance or outstanding balance. Irregularity, sanction date, EMI is due, EMI is paid, EMI is overdue, new IRAC, old IRAC, error condition. Let me go towards side side. Currency, account maintaining branch. Now, let me take uh, next due amount, irregularity date, unrealized interest, accrued interest. There is a stress in the account, whether there is a stress or not, you can identify there. SMA code, incipient stress, whether it's a risk asset or not. If it is a risk asset, what is the date on which they identified as a risk asset? Right of flag, right of amount, right of date, SMA class, SMA date, SMA arrear condition. That's all. Just click finish. Wonderful. Now can I directly start analyzing this data? Can I start applying a pivot table on this? No, because though you converted into different columns, but there are a lot of unnecessary rows are there. I don't want this junk data. So what I'm going to do, I'll follow a couple of steps here to make my data more structured. Let me select from the first row till the heading remove because my heading always comes on the top. Now keep the cursor here, use the shortcut, control, shift, end. That means from the selection, from the place where you are in, you can select till the last used cell. Now I can simply go to the data tab. I can apply the filters, wonderful. Because filter is one important uh, feature of Microsoft Excel which is very much helpful to clean up the data in the data preparation step. Now let us look into the logic. The logic is very simple. This is the account number column, right? Account number column should not have anything other than the number, yes or no? So that means, let me unselect everything. Generally, the steps which I follow is come to the bottom, select everything till you find a number, okay? Just stop before you find a number. So, I have selected everything other than the number. Let me click OK. That means this entire data is the junk data which is not required for me. Keep the cursor here. Control, Shift, End. Control, Minus, so that I can delete all the rows at a time. It is trying to delete all the rows. Wonderful. Now you can remove the filter. As I said, this is a fabricated data. So I kept the same data everywhere. But in the real-time scenario, you may find different columns with the different rows with the different figures. Now you can just make your first column bold. It is always a good habit to freeze the pane. You can just go to the view tab, freeze top row, right? In this video, I have explained how to convert loan balance file from the bank's 24 to the proper Excel format. In the next video, we will see how we can analyze the data in the loan balance file. Thank you so much.